Welcome to this video about the PDF reports you can generate using CSI PICS Case APHIS. With this feature, you can generate reports documenting an APHIS search with a cover page, the APHIS search history documenting all the parameters you used in your search, previous search histories if you search that latent against different folders, left image history, the left image in full page mode, the right image history, the right image in full page mode, the two side-by-side -side images, this is a screen grab as the images are when you click generate report, and the two side-by-side -side images with count dialogs up in the corner so you can see how many cores, deltas, minutia points, etc. are on each side. Now I will show you how to generate reports like this. In this example I have a latent that I want to run against two folders with images in them. I've already run the suspect palms and generated a text report for that. Now I'm going to run the latent against the elimination palms. So here's a latent on the left with the minutia and the core tagged. To run a search I click APHIS search then I navigate to the folder I want to search, click OK. I'm not going to restrict the search angle because it's a palm. I'll, I'll factor in the delta and I'm not going to use any additional search filters. Now I just click Start Search. So that folder had five images in it and here are the scores for each image. I sorted them by score. By default the first image opens up and here it is. I click the rotate latent so that the latent rotates to match the known. And I zoom out and I would do my analysis and determine if it was a match or not. And then if it wasn't I'll continue on to look at the other images. In this case I'm not going to spend time doing that. I just know it's a match, so I click OK. Now I want to show how to generate the report. So click Save Search History right here. You can just save the results in a text file, or you can generate the PDF report, and that's what I'm talking about in this video. So click OK. So now you need to enter information for the cover page, like the report title, a case number, the agency will default to the last agency name you put in. The date by default is today's date. Additional text can be whatever you'd like to be, so there are three lines of additional text that you can add for the cover page. And here's where you navigate to your agency's logo. Here are the contents for the report. So I'm including the report cover page. The CSI PIX Notes page, which I actually haven't added anything in, so there won't be a CSI PIX Notes in this report. The APHIS search history page, so that's the same as the text that was saved in previous versions. The left image history, left image. The right image history, the right image. The side by side images as they're displayed now, so if I wanted to change the way they're annotated, add bubbles or numbers or whatever, I could do that now before I generate the report so that it looks the way I want it in the report. And this is a side-by-side -side image with the count dialog up in the corner of each image. Over here is where I can select past search text files to include in this. So if I searched a number of folders and didn't find a match and I wanted to save that information in this PDF report, I could do that here. So that's what I'll do. So the one that I want to put in here is this one here, where it's the suspect palms no match found. The no match found is just what I added to the text file. Now I just click generate report. The default name is case APHIS history underscore left file name versus the folder that was searched. So I'm just going to click save add the names and now it will open 
with whatever your default PDF reader is. For me, that's Adobe Acrobat Reader. So here's the cover and the APHIS search history. This is the other text history that I included for the search against a different folder. That's the left image history, left image, right image history, right image, and the two side-by-side -side images with and without the count. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me.